step down into darkness Open my eyes, let me see Beauty that made this heart adore me Hope of a life spent with you Here I am to worship Here I am to bow down Here I am to say that You're my God You're all together lovely All together worthy All together wonderful to me King of all days so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to the earth you created, all full of sick became poor. Here I service first Sunday online. We cannot meet in the village hall at present so we thought we would put together a service online that reflects what makes first Sunday a little different to other services. It is an all ages service with some contemporary music and traditional hymns and a bible story often told in a slightly different way. We start our service with a prayer. God is with you wherever you may be and whatever you choose to do. Creator God, you made us in your image. May we discern you in all that we see and serve you in all that we do. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first song is Great is Thy Faithfulness. Do sing along at home. Morning by morning, new mercies 
Epistle to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 17 to 22. He came and preached peace to you who are far away, and also peace to those who are near. For through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household, built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him, you too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we have a hint. Our God is a great big God. 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 And he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper, He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe, and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me, and He's loved me, since before the world began. How wonderful! Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big 
God and He holds us in His hand. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. He is higher than a skyscraper. He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me and He's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. 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 I hope you can see me okay. Mary, Mary, they are here. Come and look. Look, they are here. Oh, this is a bit strange. Do you think they can really see us? Shh, shh. Oh, it's, it's that, it's man, that again. man again. Here he comes. Hello, everybody. Oh, it's you two again. I'd hoped. Oh, well, I mean, huh? I didn't know whether you would actually uh, be able to uh, find us here. Oh, you don't get rid of us that easily. Have you come to tell us a story again? Well, I thought that I might. There is a really good story about two builders. It's really called a parable. A whatable? A parable. That's what the stories Jesus tells us in the Bible are called. It's his way of helping us to understand the things that we need to know. Oh! oh. So, anyway, the first builder, a very wise man had a good look around to find a good spot to build a house for his family. He spotted just the place. It was on a really big rock, so he worked really hard digging a hole in the rock big enough for the foundations and the size for his house. He built the house, and they decorated it, and they moved all their things into it all their pots and pans and their belongings and their bits and pieces, and they settled in to the house. When it was all done, there was a terrible storm, a huge storm. The sea rose higher and higher and higher. Thank you, thank you. The rain hammered down and the wind roared. But, 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 but the house stood firm and the wise builder and his family were warm and dry inside. That's good. I was really worried. Then there was this other man, a very, very foolish man. He looked around and he found what he thought, what he thought was a perfect spot on the beach, actually on the sand, so he and his family could enjoy the beach whenever they wanted. They could build sand castles and go swimming every day. As I was saying, this builder decided to build his house on the sand. So he smoothed out a large patch of sand and made sure there weren't any shells or anything in the way 
and he built his house. And they decorated it, they moved all their things in, all their furniture and all their pots and pans, and they were very comfortable. And when it was all done, there was a terrible storm. The sea rose higher and higher. Thank you, thank you. The rain hammered down and the wind roared. At first, the foolish builder and his family were safe inside. But then the high house started to shake and creak and the walls were actually moving. So the family picked up all that they could, which wasn't very much, and ran to safety just as the house came crashing down. Thank you. So Jesus says that we need to listen to his words. They are just like the rock that the wise builder built his house upon. And if we do, as Jesus teaches us in the Bible, his words are the truth and solid like rock. So we can trust them to build our lives upon. The end. I like that story. Me too. He always tells a good story. See you again sometime. See you again soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 I, hope, I hope not too soon. Thank you. Bye. As our friends have just told us, we've been listening to the story about the man who built his house upon the rock and the man who built his house upon the sand. We've all heard it before and we know that the house built on the rock weathered the storm and the builder is called wise. But the house that was built on the sand collapsed in the storm and the builder's called foolish. The meaning of this parable is quite obvious. Proper foundations are necessary. With a real house, it is unwise to build on sand because the foundation will be unsteady and the house will eventually suffer some kind of damage. This will waste resources and all the time and work put into building the house in the first place will have gone to nothing. In contrast, it's wise to build one's house on shore foundation, anchoring to bedrock, making the building withstand the test. But Jesus' sermon was not concerned with house construction or building code violations. The spiritual meaning of the parable is found in Matthew 7, 24. Everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like the wise man who built his house on the rock. We are each building a life. The proper foundation for life is Jesus' words, not just the hearing of them, but the doing of them too. It seems at times that everything in the world is set up to make us turn away from God's words. And often our own feelings pull us towards doing the exact opposite of what the Bible says. But a wise man will follow the words of God despite these pressures, not as a way to show off or earn salvation, but because he trusts God. All through the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus presents himself as the final authority on and fulfiller of the law. He ends the sermon with a call to heed his message and in fact, find one's security in him. As we follow the Lord, learning to trust and obey him, we receive our reward. Our house is steady and solid, unshaken by circumstances. The wise man is the believer whose life is built on the rock of Christ. In this world, he has faith and hope and in the everlasting life and love. Our next song is Cornerstone. blood and righteousness I 
dare not trust the sweetest frame but holy trust in Jesus name Christ alone cornerstone weak made strong in the Savior's love through the storm he is Lord, Lord of all. When darkness seems to hide his face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy this morning will be slightly different to perhaps what we're used to. I believe that we just talk to our Father one to one as we would our normal earthly father and mother. So let's pray together. Hello Father, it's me again from Leavenheath. Mm. Sorry we've not been in communication with you. Usual things, other things take precedence over you. And for that, I'm sorry. Father too, we thank you for keeping us perfectly safe throughout this terrible virus that's been raging throughout our country. I thank you, Lord, that you have kept my own family safe. I thank you that you have kept our friends safe. But I would be mindful that there are some who have not been so fortunate. There are some that have got friends, family, who have been lost to the virus. We pray now, Lord, that you will comfort them. You will draw near to them and you will bless them. Now, Father, we, I thank you that you've given us freedom of speech, that we can just come and sit and talk to you in this way. And Lord, I would be remindful of 
other people in different parts of the world that have not been so fortunate. We think, Lord, of that terrible accident in Beirut where many people have lost their lives and many people have lost their homes. We pray, Lord, that you will draw near to them as you draw near to us. Then, our Father, we pray for any of our friends, our neighbours, our near ones that are unwell. We pray that you will draw close to them and may they know that your presence is with them today. So, our Father, uh, we pray that I pray that you will help me to be more in contact with you daily rather than not at all. Lord, it is so easy just to forget you and just call upon you when there is a dire need. But Lord, I just thank you for all that you've done for us. We pray now that you will just continue to bless us throughout this day. And wherever we go today, we pray that you'll be with us. So thank you, our Father. Amen. We will now say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. We finish our service with a prayer. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Thank you for joining our service and we hope you will come again, whether we're online or back in the Village Hall. And our final song is How Great Thou Art. my soul, my 
Since my soul, my sin. 